Well, I certainly didn't expect to see you here. This is a bonsai pot, right? It's nice, but it looks like it's been a little neglected. This bonsai was in my family for many generations. Sadly, it ended up in a Tenryo Commission warehouse in my generation. <laughs> one thing you might not know about my past is that I spent some time as one of Inazuma's most wanted fugitives. I suspect this bonsai was confiscated during my long time on the run. Fugitive? Oh. Life throws all kinds of hardships at us. I doubt a single person in this world lives a truly carefree life. So the bonsai pot belonged to your ancestors? Seems a shame to leave it empty like this. Huh. Kaza, what do you think about maybe putting a little something inside it? <laughs> All right. Though I still don't understand why it has appeared here, I can give that a try. <laughs> I knew it wasn't going to be that simple. Huh? Oh, yeah! Everyone's here, except for Kazuha! Kazuha! Where are you? Are you okay? No response. Well, let's keep an eye out for him. Look at the decor here. It's like the inside of a grand mansion. I don't think this is a perilous maze. It's somebody's home. Most curious. What secrets lie within this place, I shall surely uncover. This letter was written by Kazuha's father. So keeping bonsai plants really does run in the family. Hmm. But the fact that we're even here and could see his father's notes, it just seems so unbelievable. Take it easy.
Looks like a letter Kazaha wrote while he was traveling. Oh, what a sad letter. <laughs> Lord Kazuha. <gasps> Take it easy. Busted. No, my sword. Come on to art. Sumetsu. Quietly now. Things are about to get done. Rain outlines your fate. Let me weave you a ball. Here comes the catch. Ah. Whirling snow. Ah. Embrace the ice. Easy.
The flesh resides in society, while the heart yearns for the natural world. Such has been the way of the Kaidaharas for many generations. Kazuha, the future of this clan will one day be in your hands. When that time comes, remember to always stay true to yourself. I heard an old man say something about the Kaedeharas. Sounds like it might be Kazuha's grandfather. <laughs> Listen carefully, Kazuha. A Kaedahara blade is not forged for the purpose of harming people. Father, what are you carving? <laughs> it's a rock garden. I'm modeling it after the scenery I saw on my travels abroad. It'll go in my bonsai later. Work has been so busy these years, I've barely had a moment to spend with my grandson. I hope he doesn't take after me. When he's older, he should get out there and see more of the world. I believe the other voice belongs to Lord Kazuha's father. Oh, I see. We have ventured into Lord Kazuha's memory. You are? Huh? Where did you all go? This place is a maze. We all got trapped inside except for you. I've been stuck in this room the whole time and can't seem to find a way out. I have to say, this place looks a lot like my childhood bedroom. If this is your home, why would you be trapped here? Is the maze trying to keep you out? It appears that this whole maze is modeled after my family home. And all the conversations you heard in there are in fact words once spoken by my father and grandfather. You said that the maze is trying to keep me out. Indeed, I'm the only one unable to explore this place. I think these unusual structures are some kind of mirage. According to what Kazuha said, all this seems to be constructed based on Kazuha's memory. Hmm. But why should Lord Kazuha be the only one excluded? Maybe that comes from me too. To me, what is past is gone. Everything in the world is guided by its own rules, and as for people, we can never relive the past. I think that this belief is the reason why the Mirage was keeping me out. Oh, I can get behind that. It's a very sensible way of looking at things. All our thoughts have consequences. I don't consider it strange, and I don't think it's anything you should be worried about. Hmm. We got in here by touching the bonsai, didn't we? So perhaps, if we touch it again... Hey, look! That whole mountain's changed completely! Wait... <sighs> Everyone, I might have an explanation. The changes in the mirage could be related to the bonsai. My father once mentioned that this pot was originally part of a collection belonging to my great-grandfather. He adored his bonsai, 
and always took great care of them. When our family fell upon hard times, my grandfather traveled far and wide looking for a way to save the clan. However, during that time, my great-grandfather became gravely ill. He knew my grandfather had no interest in bonsai, so before his death he gave most of his carefully crafted bonsai away. This is the only one he retained. And this flower pot was passed down to me as a family treasure. It's certainly no coincidence that it appeared here and became the entrance to the mirage. It's almost as if... It's giving me a chance to make up for past regrets. There was once a time when the Kaidaharas were an illustrious clan in Inazuma. After the Raiden Gokaden incident, our clan's fortunes took a turn for the worse. By the time of my generation, our downfall was complete. Later, I fled Inazuma as I didn't want to be arrested. With no one left in the Kaidahara clan, the authorities confiscated everything in our home including this bonsai. Like my ancestors before me, I think I'd like to try it out for myself. Recreate a favorite scene from my travels and place it into this pot. Oh. Since the contents of this bonsai affect the mirage, I'd at least like to try my hand at making something. But what style? Should I use plants for the bonsai like my great-grandfather? Or rocks, like my father and grandfather. <laughs> Perhaps a rock garden would suit me better. So do you need any supplies to make this bonsai? I think I'll need a set of tools and some rocks that can be carved and made into decorations. Got it. We'll help you look. We might just get lucky. If the pot's here, then surely other stuff related to crafting bonsai can't be far away. I concur. Lord Kazuha, take heart in your search, for my retinue and I shall help you retrieve your missing treasures. Thank you, everyone. Wow, it's a new place! As was the case last time, only Lord Kazuha is missing. Don't worry, leave it to us. Take it easy. Take it easy. Take it easy. Take it easy. <laughs> Take it easy.
Take it easy. Take it easy. This will do. Ah, Kazua, you've come just at the right moment. What do you think of this rock carving? It's very intricate. I based it on a mountain scene I saw in a book. You know, there are nations in this world where the mountains reach all the way up into the clouds. <sighs> if only I had the chance to see them with my own eyes. Father, you can go anywhere whenever you want. That's not true. Though the Kaedehara clan is far from what it used to be, I still bear all the same responsibilities as the clan heads before me. But then again, continuing in the way of our forefathers, sacrificing everything for our declining clan... Is it really worth it? But I... I don't understand. Kazuha, there's one thing I want you to always remember. Family ties are important, but you ought to not let them hold you back. Family only exists because of the people in it. If we are unhappy, how can we hope to build a joyful one? The events of the past have had a profound impact on our family, but they are not your burden to carry. If you ever grow tired of this tedious life, just drop everything and go off on a journey. See the world. Remember, Kazuha, don't let yourself get tied down in life. Yes, father. <sighs> I've heard a lot about you, Mr. Kayadehara. It's my honor to meet you today. It is Kazuha's honor to duel with a military man like yourself. Kazuha, get ready. Chicken and stir! Diana special! My apologies! Yeah! Sakura swirl! Quietly now. Think you can bully me? Take flight! Gotcha. I need to train harder. Take it easy. Take it easy.
Take it easy. <sighs> Take it easy. Take it easy. Take it easy.
I'm sorry, but I just don't understand. Kazuha, have you forgotten our promise? Do you really want to give it all up? But... But even if we're having a rough time, you still have me by your side. Can't I be of any help? When you were my age, you were already helping Grandfather out. Am I so incompetent that I'm a disappointment to you? Or... Kazuha! <sighs> now you're blaming yourself for all of this? That's why I failed you as a father. The Kaidehara clan has been paying the price for our past mistakes ever since your great-grandfather's generation. To this day, we have never fully recovered from it. Though we are a family of bladesmiths, you don't have to devote your life to the family craft. If a wounded animal wants to escape from a trap, it has to sacrifice the hind leg that was caught. You might think of this as a loss, but staying in the trap has far more deadly consequences. Enough now, Kazuha. As the head of the family, I failed to revitalize our clan. You never blamed me for not giving you the life promised to you by our heritage, and I'm grateful enough for that. All these generations of suffering... Let's end them today. From now on, live your life with no burdens. Don't worry. I'll carry the blame for abandoning our family business. Father... Please don't. You should not be to blame for not upholding our family name. Even if that day comes, let me share the burden with you. Let's just wait and see. Sooner or later, I will have to lead the Kaidahara clan. When the time comes, I'll deal with all our problems. Hey, think you're tough enough to go against me? Ah, no response! What's wrong? You scared? Did you really think it would be wise to pick a fight with the Kaidahara clan? Take flight! To the very... Take it easy. The Kaidahara clan is no longer what it used to be. That's Kazuha's voice! But why can't he hear us? Looks like it's just an illusion. This isn't the Kazuha who came here with us. Take it easy. Maybe if I were more adept in the sword arts, I'd be able to share my father's burdens. This won't do. I'm getting distracted by family matters and making too many mistakes. Yearn to hear the song of Nightingale. My patient ears ready to attend. A veil of mist obscures the western skies. To no one is fighting a losing battle, and yet never once falter. This shall be my father. Thought we might find you trapped here again. <laughs> Yeah, it seems those are the rules. We entered that maze in the mirage again, but the scene was different this time. The mood was more deflated, and the place more humbly furnished. Yes, that makes sense. What you saw was the Kaidahara clan in decline. We saw you in the Mirage, too! But you looked a little different than now. Indeed, I most certainly agree. 
Compared to the Lord Kazuha before us now, the mirage we saw appeared lost, with the burden of fate weighing heavily upon him. I can confirm that. His fate was a heavy burden indeed. That means I am older and wiser now. I'm sorry you had to see my less mature former self. For a long time after leaving Inazuma, I've lived the life of a drifter. But this is no bad thing, because I learned much from the experience. I wish that I could have met my past self, too. If he saw me, I know that he would understand. Life is a long journey, and that's why I must travel far and wide. What's happened here? Everything is broken! Alas, the loftier the clan, the more devastating the fall. Broken into pieces and not a single soul around. This must be the way things ended. Come on, let's get moving. Master, we're the only servants left. Don't worry. I'll be fine. Your mother died early, and now that your father has left you, you're all that remains of this clan now. I suppose that this is the last time... Everyone, on board! Farewell. The Kaidahara clan has ultimately disbanded in my hands. But as my father said, I should not let life imprison me. Perhaps living the wanderer's life is what was meant for me after all. You know, they say that visions represent the Archon's gaze. Hmm... But is being under an Archon's gaze really a blessing? I don't know. Maybe? I have traveled far and wide in Inazuma since leaving home, and seen many new things along the way. Though material luxuries have not been a feature of my journey, it has yet been a rich and rewarding one with the boundless earth and sky to call my abode, and all the wonders of nature as my partners in poetry. Vision Hunt Decree! Hand over your visions now! This way! Hurry! <laughs> Wouldn't gliding be faster? <laughs>
wouldn't gliding be faster? I know very well why people resist against the Vision Hunt decree. Ambition is our power in its rawest form. We cannot live without it. When no other option remains, I will leave. The Almighty Shogun is holding a duel before the throne. Unauthorized personnel are strictly forbidden from coming near. Wait, the kid has a vision? Get him! Don't let him get away! Here we go! Take flight! Busted! Take it easy. I won't forget this. Teach me a lesson. Get them. Busted. I'm a rock. Look at you. Think you can get away? Game's up. Fun's over. Show me what you've got. I'm both. I need to train hard. Yeah! Whirling snow! The life of a wanderer is full of hardships. I have asked myself these questions many times. Should I go? If so, where to? And by what means? Quietly now. Embrace the ice! Yahoo! Stay on us special! My apologies! My to the fairy! Take it easy. Take it easy. Ha. Take it 
Take it easy. Busted. Time for takeoff. Here comes the catch. Quietly now. Kaidahara, that's you, right? Get on board, I'll get you out. But... why are you helping me? I'm a wanted fugitive. Obviously the Yashiro uh, <clears throat> An anonymous financial sponsor wants you to get out safely. But there's only so much they can do. After this, you'll be on your own. My grandfather once traveled to Liebe. While my father read about Mondstadt, but where is the right place for me? The sky's getting dark. It looks like it's going to rain. Will the rain ever stop? Stop! I'm warning you! Do not attempt to resist! <laughs> oh, really? Let's play! Quietly now. Rested. Take flight. I need to train harder. Formation. Soldiers, quick! Get Busted. Think you can get away? Things are about to get dicey. Yahoo! Teach me a lesson. Gotcha. Allow me. Embrace the ice. I must fight the dragon. Here we go. Think you can bully me? My apologies. Yahoo! Hey, buddy. You okay? Need a ride or something? <laughs> Pirates. <laughs> you could call us that. So, you coming or not? <laughs> Take it easy. over there. Kazuha! We found you! Ah, uh, good timing. I was just reflecting on my life so far, and I think I'm all up to date. So, what do you think of the Kaidahara clan's bonsai? Old things often carry around some form of regret. The Kaidahara clan is no exception. But that's okay. Partings produce reunions. If not at home, then in a distant land. Oh, this mirage is quite fascinating. It presents life like a stage play, with each scene more captivating than the last. They say that astrologists have seen it all. So if this mirage intrigued you, that says it was a worthwhile encounter. <clears throat> How fares thy mood? Main Fräulein inquires as to your present well-being, Lord Kazuha, hoping your heart is not too filled with sorrow. There's no way anyone could be cheerful after reliving all that! <laughs> you have a point. Thank you all for your concern. Fortunately, all those things are past and gone now. When I first saw this bonsai, I thought of the possibility that... I needed to wait for you. Perhaps that was why I had to be here on my own. 
Have you finished doing what you wanted to do, Kazuha? Yes, you could say that. You saw my past self and said goodbye to him. Only when you witness my whole story does it become truly consigned to history. What really matters in life is not how strict we are with ourselves, but the connections we make along the way. There's no future for those who linger on the past. So please believe me when I say that I've already come a long way. And I intend to go further still. I will always treasure your support. I often travel during storms, which means my eyes are often blinded by the rain. Many times, I couldn't even see what was right in front of me. One day, I finally reached the top of the mountain. I looked out with the clouds beneath my feet and only the gentle breeze murmuring in my ears. The highest mountain is a clear and enlightened heart. Here, there is no self, no hatred, no regrets, and no desires. Let's embark on a journey, for I am the breeze. We will meet again, no matter how far along the road. Life has just begun, and maybe the whole world can be my home. Everyone must be exhausted. Let's call it a day. <sighs> What's wrong? You don't look too good. Nothing. Perhaps today's arduous journey is making me feel slightly out of sorts. Hmm? <laughs> Main Fräulein, are you alright? Oz, curb thy curiosity. Uh, yes, Main Fräulein. Hmm. I'll see if I can find something for us to eat. Go ahead and rest if you're feeling tired. But anyone who's up to it is welcome to help out. I'll help. Oh, me too. Everyone's volunteering to help! Maybe we should too! <laughs> Whoa, hey! <laughs> I appreciate the enthusiasm, but, uh... Her Highness looks kinda gloomy. Mona, you two seem close. Why don't you keep her company for a while? You noticed it, too. I was going to bring it up with you while we were preparing the food. In that case, yes, just leave it to me. All right, we'll prepare the food. Yep, this should be enough. We can grill these. Next time we pass by one of those abandoned campsites, I'll see if they have a cooking pot. We'd have some more variety then. Wow, that's such a nice idea! You might not be a chef, Shen Yan, but you sure do know how to keep the diners happy! Oh, shucks, Paimon. It's no big deal. Just doing what I can. Even the crewmates of the Alcor consider Shen Yan someone they can rely on. We feel the same way about you too, Kazuha! <laughs> we sure do! Hmm... Well, then, as a trusted friend, I have something I'd like to talk about. From what you've been saying, that miraculous mirage seems to have been based on my life story to date. It felt just like a dream to me. In other words, you've always wanted to make your own bonsai? Could that be it? All that was a means of granting me something I wished for? And since this happened to me, does that mean it could happen to everyone else, too? I agree. But I wonder whose Mirage we'll encounter next. <laughs> I'm actually kind of looking forward to my own Mirage, if it's a dream come true like you say. Wait! You actually want something like this to happen with you too? Oh heck! Any Mirage to do with me would probably be music related. <laughs> It'd be a good chance to showcase a few tunes. You mean you'd want to do a performance in there? <laughs> Why not? I don't think any self-respecting musician could stay silent on these islands. Just look at this place. So much confidence and optimism! Shenyan rocks! Oh, um, uh, Traveler! Paimon wants 
to try some of the fruit growing on that cliff over there. <laughs> Let's go pick some. today, huh? And, uh, a mirage bonsai? Oh, basically lots of weird stuff today. Um, do you think we should tell Venti about it? There's no answer. That's weird. Why is he ignoring us? Maybe he got distracted. <gasps> or he forgot to bring the bomb to his performance. <gasps> or he got drunk and fell asleep under that huge tree. Hmm. Maybe we should try contacting him tomorrow. Traveler, Paimon. So here you are. Mona! <laughs> are you all done chatting with Fischl? Uh, close enough. She was a little downcast. I think it has something to do with the mirage we saw today. Fischl has been very excited about this trip from the start, but I have a feeling she doesn't want to see her own mirage. Why? It seems like this would be the kind of thing she really enjoys! I'm not sure at this stage, but I'll keep an eye on her. There's something else I wanted to tell you. I tried performing a divination again on the beach. My scry glass was still blurry, but I felt a force coming from within. I couldn't see its exact position, but I knew that it was changing. How could you tell that if you couldn't see it clearly? Hmm, how can I explain this concept to non-experts? Uh, oh, I know. It's like we're uh, sitting in a room and there's a crack in the walls. We don't know where it is, but everyone can feel the wind rushing in. Not only that, but the room is getting colder. Paimon gets it now, so you want to find where that crack is, right? You could say that. I need to see the crack first before deciding what to do next. When we set foot in this picture-perfect place, I never would have imagined we'd be dealing with such a mystifying occurrence. Well, fine, I suppose. I could use some help, though. What do you need us to do? Um... Um... <laughs> nothing, actually. What? Are you underestimating us? Oh, no, I just realized that, although you never talk much, you do so much for us all, quietly, in the background. You're the companion everyone needs. I think we're all very relieved to have you here. Well, I know putting high expectations on you might give you some unwelcome pressure, but... I like to think an astrologist's observations can yield insights outside the night sky alone. And noticing other people's strengths is a kind of observation, too. So, you just wanted to compliment us? Oh, I was simply stating facts, not complimenting anyone. That you're actually complimenting someone? Oh, stop smirking at me! I told you, it was an objective evaluation, not a compliment. Not a compliment! I'll keep observing the stars. Stay in touch, Traveler. 